Is the Simlab P1 cockpit strong and stable? Or perhaps weak and wobbly? Well, to find out, we're going to use the only method that I know, and that is with a small midge, 20 newton meter direct drive wheel, and a rather swanky cup of tea. This video is sponsored by Antline Audio's ModMic Wireless. The ModMic Wireless features low latency, lag free capture, full 16 bit, 48 kilohertz sound quality, dual mic modes, and 12 hours of battery with charging use functionality. I've been using Mod Mics for over a year now. They sound great, and they let me use my non gaming headphones as gaming headphones. You can check out the Mod Mic website by clicking on the Mod Mic link in the description. So the T is in position on the main arms that support the bracket that then holds on to the direct drive wheel. Any movement of the direct drive wheel in terms of actually moving the rig will be reported in the movement of the T. Hopefully the rig is strong and stable enough that we don't have the T fall on the floor. If we do, that will be a disaster and that will be a real indictment for the quality of the Simlab P1 cockpit. I'm thinking of starting off a little bit low down here on the force feedback because, well, I don't want to spill tea on the floor. And I haven't tried this out. This is literally, genuinely, 100% the first attempt. So let's see what we can get it up to before we have tea spillage. First gear, pull away. I'm, I'm, I'm actually genuinely quite nervous because I, <laughs> this will be tea on the carpet if it falls off. Well, look at that. Look at that, guys. 30%. And it looks like we're pretty stable through our rouge there. We're getting a little bit of clipping in game. I'm going to have to reduce the in game force feedback. Let's put it on 70. There we go. Still clipping from the game. Let's go for 65. There we go. Okay. So we've got a nice clean signal from in, coming from the game. And. That is around about the force feedback level that you'd expect. In terms of forces here, this is kind of T300 levels of force feedback. Nice and gentle, probably about three or four Newton meters. And as a result, we have almost no, almost no T movement. Even if I'm swaying my car left and right, the T remains stable. Look at that. Look at that. Now, let's move up a notch. Now we've set it to 61%. I'm getting a little bit more nervous. The T, not moving. It's about to. Here we go. Oh, a little bit of a wobble there as the wheels spin up. Oh, not bad. Not bad. There's a, a lot more force feedback now. This is. This, this feels about double the strength of what we have before, perhaps a little bit more. This is now putting out the same sort of levels that you get from the uh, Fanatec CSL Elite wheelbase that we're currently using on our PlayStation 4. Perhaps a little bit more actually. And look at that guys. There's a slight bit of, there's a slight bit of T-wobble. I'd, I'd say that's approaching Jurassic Park levels of T-wobble. But you know what? It's barely moving. I'm, I'm throwing the car left and right. Let's see what it's. Uh, let's see how it takes Eau Rouge. What's the Eau Rouge stability? There we go. Whoa! Are we, are we had to do a catch. Look at that. Look at that T stability. Only a little bit of a shake there. That's like a T-Rex from about 500 metres away. You're totally safe. Um, I, I, th I think the only, the only thing left to do now is to go even higher. We're going to we're gonna have to raise the force feedback a bit here. Let's, uh, let's turn it up a bit more. Let's go to, uh, let's go to 70%. Bit by bit, guys. I don't want to have tea on the floor here. So, 70% force feedback. guys okay okay we might be we might be approaching the threshold oh dear it did <laughs> it didn't like that 
It did like that wheel spin. I saw the glass move in the corner of my vision there. Man, if you want to make Formula One more intense, they just need to put teacups on the front of the vehicles. That's where the that's where the entertainment will be. Tea cam. It's, it's already been invented, guys. Right, here we go. Through these corners. We've got to see if it, how it goes through Eau Rouge. So, as it, as it is right now, it seems that... Basically... Whoa. <laughs> you, we're not getting that much lateral, lateral movement. The, the rig's pretty much protecting that. But we do get... When it vibrates, obviously that goes through it. The high frequency vibrations, have, they have to go somewhere. And at the moment, they're going into my into my my tea. I'm a little bit nervous. I'm worried that something's gonna, you know, will suddenly have a tea loss frequency vibration, and then and then it's all over. And this is a really nice Bowden tea glass. I highly recommend them. A little bit pricey, but I mean, look at that. That tea just looks like a babe. So we're going to take this through Eau Rouge. We want 70% force feedback. Right. The Eau Rouge, the Eau Rouge test. Come on. Flat out. Not even a catch needed. That was just smooth. Let's give it a bit of a wobble and see what happens. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No other grunts. Oh, okay, okay. Well, we're we we're, we're all right, even if we let. <laughs> I'm gonna put the pace up pretty high. We're all right though. I, I think we can go 100% here. I'm starting to get confident, and that's normally a bad sign. This is how you end up wrapped up in a tree on your motorbike. So let's be careful. Let's let's just go all in, all in, guys. 100%. 10.10 amps. Probably round about because of the way I've got my simu cube set up. It's probably round about. 18 or so peak newton meters of, of torque. Um, the, the wheel spin was the risky part last time, so I'm not sure how this is going to go. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous. Please don't fall off, tea. I like the glass and I want to drink the tea. Here we go. <laughs> I'm scared to do it. Come on. Oh, oh look at that. It absorbed it like a beast. <laughs> oh, God. Pretty strong force feedback. Uh, <coughs> As we speed up, the force feedback loads up because of the downforce. Look at that, it's barely moving. It's godlike. Well, guys, I'm sorry, but this this uh, sim rig is definitely not weak and wobbly. I think I think we've passed it. I think it's fully passed the T test. Oh, a little bit of a sway there. Oh man. What? <laughs> no, no, okay, okay. I'm not so worried. Oh, a little bit of a vibration there. I'm not so worried about the liquid spilling. I'm more worried about the glass falling off. I'm oh, God, that's pretty stiff. Take that quote out of context. Here we go. I mean... We might have to throw a more, <laughs> a more vibration -y vehicle at this. He's, he's perfectly happy. Perfectly happy. We don't even need a T hold on this ring. You can just perch it. Whoa, he's moving to the left. I didn't even notice. Okay, guys, I need to do a T adjustment here. The vibrations had slowly moved it. So, uh, so there we go. That's the first point lost for the Simlabs P1 cockpit. The vibrations will cause a slick glass cup of tea to slowly migrate like a, like a bird avoiding winter off the rig over time. So you, you, you can't use this to hold glass teacups. Absolute failure by Simlabs. I can't believe they didn't test for this scenario. But we're going to go for Eau Rouge here. And, uh, and then we're going we to have to try something a little bit more violent. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. I'll give it through Eau Rouge. Eau Rouge seems to be relatively smooth because it's a consistent force through the force feedback. We'll give it a wobble. Oh my god! <laughs> there we go. Okay. 
Let's give it a wobble. Okay, we gave it a wobble. It, it, it's strong and stable, guys. It's strong and stable. I mean, how unbelievable is that? I can't. I wasn't expecting it to to work. Look, I'll, I'll be honest, guys. I'll be honest. I had a little bit less faith in the rig than than maybe I should have. And uh, I, I'll make it evident to you. This, this is my level of faith. <laughs> we may have prepared for the worst case scenario, but uh, we didn't need to. We didn't need to. Uh, absolutely incredible. Um, Simlab P1 cockpit. I have to say, I, I think I think it's past the, uh, the the highly scientific, respected method of T test. So. Uh, with that in mind, um, thanks to Sim Labs for sending this cockpit originally for review. Uh, they're now regretting it. They, they really were not expecting it to be used like this. And uh, thanks to you guys for watching. Happy Sim Race, everyone. You know, there's a subscribe button. There's a like button. Uh, you, you can click them. It's, for, it's, per, it's totally optional. I mean, I, I think it should be mandatory. I think it should be death sentence if you don't click them, but it's optional. I, I don't I don't pick the rules. But yeah, thanks for watching. Happy tea drinking and I'll see you in our next live stream. Till then, goodbye everyone. <laughs>